<clears throat> I've got your plant open in uh, Chief Premier X9. Now, keep in mind, X9 has tools you don't have access to in, in Home Designer Pro uh, 2018. But I don't currently have Home Designer Pro 2018 on my computer active. So this is what I have to work with. I think what you're talking about is, is there's a curved, you want a curved area on this wall here. The only way I can think of to get this done in pro is the following. <laughs> it's going to be a bit of a stretch. I'm going to draw an additional wall here. I think that's an interior four wall. I'm going to draw another one. Oh, that's not interior four. Let me get an interior four wall. And it's going to draw it through here. <clears throat> Oops, I don't want it to extend it over there. I just hit undo. I don't want it melding into their wall. I'm going to take this wall and uh, parallel it to this wall and then I'm going to shove it over here against that. Now I'm getting a little error messages and so forth. I'm going to hit the control key, left click and drag this wall over where I want it. Oh, that's the thought using, that's actually a good idea. I just, I just saw this uh, niche that you put there. Let me get rid of this. Go back to the camera view. Yeah, you've got a niche right there. <clears throat> what you could do with with a, the niche tool, thanks for suggesting that, but see, the uh, niches have an arch tab, just like doors and windows do. And so let's make this a round top. Well, it's not tall enough. The geometry of it is not tall enough for a round top. I need to increase the height to like 18. And then we'll go back to the arch tab and see if it won't take a round top now. Yeah, see there, it's changed to a round top. And we could take this round top I'm using a control key to just drag it where I want it. Stick it about there and widen it. I think I'll go back to that elevation camera. Yeah. I'll click on the this and then widen it. Okay, I matched your art pretty close. I don't know if that's what you're going for, but I think this is about the only way you're going to be able to achieve it <clears throat> in Home Designer Pro. See, that doesn't look too bad. I don't know exactly uh, what you had in mind, but see, I, I put another, I just took a, the niche there and widened it. And within the programming parameters of this object, you know, you can make it deeper. You can't make it skinny like that. Well, I just did. <laughs> I just made it skinny. In order to get it to arch, I had to have it taller than it currently is. But once it's arch, then it, there's certain things you can do. So I don't know what exactly what you had in mind. You do. And maybe this will help you. You can't create a custom curved object like, your, like this shows, except with a niche or a window or a door. Of course, a window or a door, you would see through it, but uh, the niche is probably the direction you want to go. If you want to put another niche right here, you can uh, for that, whatever your purpose was. <clears throat> and you can saw as I, I widen this out to its maximum extent, and that changes the geometry of. Uh, the arch a little bit. Let's see, let's open it up, see what you can do with that on the arch tab. 
is broken. Let's go see if it'll take 12. See, if, yeah, that got it back close to your parameters that you drew. So I think using a niche is, and you can vary the depth on the niche. It's got a depth setting, height, width, and depth. Now, there's probably a vanishing point if you make it, uh, well, okay. They probably didn't accept six inches because the, the wall's not six inches thick. Yeah, it went to four and five sixteenths. I put in six and it, it's pre-programmed within certain limits, but uh, I think I've demonstrated that you can't, there's things that you can do with it. Now, there's no point in me showing you what can be done in X9 because it's not applicable to what you have. Uh, in X9, I can, I've got more tools and choices, but uh, I think that's what you'd be limited to, limited to in Home, Home Designer <coughs> Pro 2018. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps you some.